Everybody wants to retain, but nobody wants to put in the work. What's going on YouTube? And I'm back with another video update. And uh, this is my first video update from me coming back from my trip, my cruise. So let's see how the tank is going. Overall, the tank is doing real good. Uh, I noticed a lot of good growth in my tank. Uh, the fish are good and healthy, fat, you know. I had my mother-in-law wash the tank while we was gone uh, on our little cruise that we decided to do. And uh, I think she did a pretty good job, you know, watching the tank and keeping everything together. The thing I'm probably most happy for is probably my Acropora, man. Uh, I seen pretty good growth on the Acropora. And uh, it's starting to crust, increase across these rocks. And I think it looks really amazing. Uh, you can see new branches on this stag right here. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's looking real good, guys. I'm saying that my Acropora probably is, is, is pretty a, a pretty good highlight on how things is going in this tank. And I'm proud of it, guys. I'm real proud of it. Starting left to right, you can see that, you know, everything's doing pretty good in the tank. Uh, the green mushrooms split again, so now I got six of them. Uh, the rock flower anemones is doing well. The gunny is doing well. You know, my main gunny is doing well, but I haven't, you know, my, my other gunnies, they're struggling a lot. So uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on them guys and hopefully, you know, I come up with a solution to uh, help. Like the gunny I got from Reef and Ray right there behind that feather duster, if you can see it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that one is doing, you know, not so, not so good, so. We have to figure something out for them guys. Uh, but other than that, everything else is doing well, guys. Uh, I did have a few deaths in the tank. One of my deaths is this uh, Blasto right here. Uh, so what happened was is uh, I had a cow I had a cow washer problem while I was gone, guys. Uh, luckily, my mother-in-law was here to catch it. My RO water ended up staying on too long and it ended up uh, filling the tank with cat washer. So luckily it didn't harm anything else, but yeah, uh, when I came in, this guy right here was just totally covered with cat washer. So it was nothing I could do for him. Uh, I was hoping he was gonna come back, uh, but he's obviously he like he's struggling to survive and I'm pretty sure he's, he's pretty much gone, guys. Uh, it's a lost cost. You know, things happen in this hobby, but uh, what matters is how you prevail from when things happen, so yeah. Also, another one that struggle is this A can right here. This A can and definitely is struggling to survive. So hopefully, you know, he can bounce back. Uh, but it's not looking too good, guys. Uh, it's just part of the process, guys. It's part of the process, and you just you just have to keep reefing. But you feel ya? Yeah, all of them doing well. I can say they're definitely growing and look fat and healthy, so I'm guessing they're doing great. And you know, that's a good telltale sign that they're doing pretty great. Uh, I see multiple heads on this guy right here. He's he's growing like a weed now. I said that on my last video, but he's definitely growing like a weed. And it's, it's, it's exciting to see because now eventually I can start propagating his heads and making some of that money back, guys, because reefing it's not cheap but yeah all the euphilia is doing great look at just look how plush they are this is a telltale sign that they're loving the spot they're in and uh yeah they just they just real help even the torch when i came back was doing a lot better so i'm thinking uh you know with, with me not being here you know messing with the tank definitely helps out the tank uh it's just overall, the tank is doing a lot better with me keeping my hands out the tank. So I'm gonna continue this success and just keep my hands out the tank uh, and see, and see what, what happens, you know? Zoe Garden has really filled in a lot and there's really no more space for it to grow on this rock. So it's just, all it's gonna have to do is grow up the rock and get to the other levels. So it's gonna be exciting to see that happen over time. Can't wait. So, yeah. Ultron Five Year is looking magnificent. Uh, tentacles is always out. Always look like it's feeding. Can't ask for anything else out of this guy. Is doing his thing. 
Cyphestra is encrusting across the rock. Uh, you can't see it right now because, but it's underneath that area, the shaded area right there underneath it is definitely uh, encrusting. Encrusting. So it's exciting to see how fast this guy's already growing in my tank. And it's going to be looking amazing. It's going to be really amazing. But even with all that, guys, I'm not pleased with my tank, you know? So I'm going to tell you why I'm not pleased with my tank. So. The main reason I ain't pleased with my tank is the color of the lights. I feel like my lights can do be a lot better. Like, all right, so this is the disco ball I have going on above my tank. I got two AI Prime HDs, and then this Viper Spectre is just hanging down. And then I got that light over there. And you probably wondering like, yo, why you got the light over there like this? So let me show you what I got going on. Let me show you what I got going on. Yeah, so. Since I didn't have any room in my sump to grow Kato, I was growing Kato out of this little uh, old filter I had for my 40 gallon breeder. And it's, it's doing well. As you can see, the tray is pretty filled back there. So it's doing well. It's just the fact that, man, I just feel like it can be so much better, yo. So what I'm gonna be doing here on out is probably upgrading things like lights and I know what you're saying like hey if it ain't broke don't fix it but it's just the fact that it's bothering me like sitting in front of my tank I just I, I'm missing like the colors that I was getting from my nano tank and I, I, I actually miss my nano tank so yeah. long story short I'm, I am gonna be restarting my nano tank soon so y'all gotta stay tuned for that but yeah, Coros is doing good, guys. I can't ask for much more. It's just the fact that I'm just missing something out of the lights. And then, you know, the bottom of the sump, I don't even want to show you guys, but it is it, a hot mess. And it's just something I just need to really work on. Uh, like, I want to change the, the return pump out. And overall, I just want to upgrade the tank. Like, the tank is fine. I just want to upgrade the tank. So. That's something that we we gonna be working on on this channel a lot more is upgrading things on this tank to make it more eye pleasing, not just to me but to you guys and make sure the corals. Of course, the number one goal is to make sure the corals are pleased too. So the corals and the fish and the every livestock in here. So that's what we're gonna be doing with this tank. So starting with the lights, guys. What lights you think I should put on this tank? What lights you think? Uh, what lights do you have on your tank? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what lights we should put in uh yeah y'all gotta stay humble stay blessed and keep reefing let's get it